Hi, this is Rian from Must Be Noob. In this lab guide, we will use the add rules and features wizard to install the Active Directory Domain Services rule on a newly installed Windows Server 2019. In the last lab guide, we have set up our Server 2019 with a static IP address. First of all, I'm going to click on Start button and let's open Server Manager Console. On Server Manager Console, first of all, I'm going to click on Local Server to show you the current computer name of the server and information about our IP configuration. Fine, as you can verify that our Ethernet IP address assigned to this server is 180.160.1.10. Let's click on it. Let's select the adapter, right click on it and go for the properties. Select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on properties. So this is the, our current IP configuration. Let's click on OK, click on close and let's close this console. Let's click on Dashboard. Let's click on Add Rules and Features to install to directed domain services. Let's click on Next. Next again, our local server is already selected and that is Server 2019. Click on Next. Here I'm going to select Active Directory Domain Services. Let's select the checkbox. It is also going to add certain other features which are required by Active Directory Domain Services to work properly. Let's click on Add Features. Click on next, next again, next again and click on install to start the process to install Active Directory Domain Services. After installing the Active Directory Domain Services rule, we must promote the server to a domain controller. We will create a new domain in a new Active Directory forest and configure this server to a function as a domain controller for that domain. Here we have a link to start a new wizard to promote this server to a domain controller. Let's click on that link. That link will start a new wizard called Active Directory Domain Services Configuration Wizard. On our first console, we have a several options related to deployment configuration. First option is that to add a domain controller to an existing domain. Second one is to add a new domain in existing forest, but you want to deploy new Active Directory forest that's why I'm going to select this third box, which is add a new forest. Here we need to specify the domain information for this operation. Means we need to specify root domain's name, which you want to assign. For this guide, I'm going to give name must be noob.lab. Click on next. On domain controller's options page, you have options to select the functional level for new forest and root domain. At the time of this video recording, in Windows Server 2019, the highest possible forest and domain functional levels are Windows Server 2016 and which is selected by default. Under specified domain controller's capability, as you can see, DNS server options is selected because we are deploying a new Active Directory forest with a new domain and this is going to be the first domain controller and that need DNS server to work properly and that's why that checkbox is selected. Global Catalog checkbox is also selected because first DC is going to be a Global Catalog server as well. Here we need to specify the Directory Service Restore Mode password which we can use to restore Active Directory Domain Services as well as to troubleshoot it. Set up a strong password and click on Next to continue. On a DNS Delegation Options page, ignore the warning and click on Next to continue. Our database name will be same as our root domain name must be noob. Let's click on next to continue. On this console, we have options to specify the location for the Active Directory database, log files and syswall, which we are going to use the default one. Let's click on next. Here you can review your selection and if you are happy with it, click on next to continue. Now we can begin the installation by clicking on install button. So let's click on it. The installation process is going to take some time to complete and once the installation process completes, our server will reboot automatically. And after that, our server will work as a domain controller. After reboot, let's click on input, keyboard and insert control alter delete key combination. At our login screen, you can verify that now we have a must be noob slash administrator. This is the user account of our domain admin. Let's specify the password and hit enter key. 
Now we have successfully promoted this Windows Server 2019 as an domain controller. Let's click on Tools to verify that. Select Active Directory Users and Computers. On Active Directory Users and Computers snapping, you can verify our domain is that must be noob.lab. And if you click on Domain Controllers Container, here you can verify our Server 2019 computer account is stored under Domain Controllers Container. That means we have successfully promoted our Server 2019 as an Domain Controller for must be noob.lab domain. One more thing which we are going to do is let's open DNS Management Console. On DNS Management Console, if you expand your server name, under forward lookup zone, you can verify two forward lookup zones are already created. Must be noob.lab and underscore msdcs dot must be noob.lab. Both forward lookup zones are Active Directory integrated primary DNS zone. But we don't have any reverse lookup zone yet. So let's right click here and select new zone. Click on next, next again, next again. And we are going to create reverse lookup zone for IP person 4 and that's why we are going with the default selection. Let's click on next. Here we need to specify first three octet of our IP address, which is 192.168.1 1 in our case. Let's click on next, next again and click on finish. Now we need to add a pointer record for our domain controller. To do that, I'm going to right click here and select new pointer record. Let's click on browse. Double click on server name, double click on for lookup zone and here we have a must be noob.lab DNS zone. Let's double click on it. And under that, our server 2019 record is there. Let's select it, click on OK and click on OK. Now before we click on OK button, here you can verify that host IP address is 192.168.1.10 which is pointing to FQDN server 2019. Must be noob.lab. Click on OK and that's it. Now we have Windows Server 2019 Domain Controller up and running. At this point, I'll suggest you to take a snapshot of this virtual machine as we have a newly promoted Windows Server 2019 Domain Controller for must be noob.lab domain.